Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got another Mustang Mach-E video. Uh, I want to show you the games that come installed on the car. So let me flip the camera around and uh, we'll take a look. Um, this is as of March of 2023. Um, we're running the version four software, uh, specifically 4.1.3 here. Um, and so on version four, they added a couple extra games. Um, they also added this entertainment tab, so you can only access these apps when you're stationary, which makes sense. Um, and so uh, we'll just go through these. Uh, parking Lot, I've been enjoying this game. Uh, it's pretty entertaining if you're interested in Ford vehicles. Um, you know, you can just see right off the bat, the Ford GT is the, the most obvious here, the black with the white racing stripes. Um, you're trying to get your Mustang Mach-E out of the parking lot uh, in eight moves or less. Uh, but if you look at some of the other vehicles here, you know, these blue ones, uh, pretty sure that's a Mustang GT500 with the hood vents there. You've got um, Ford Bronco over here, one of the new ones. Um, then there's two pickup trucks here, probably Ford Raptors. Uh, with the with the bed in the back and then you've got the Mustang Mach-E you're trying to move as well there's another one parked here and then uh, the red car and the white car I'm not a hundred percent sure what those are maybe Ford Escape or uh, also has kind of a Ford Edge look as well um, but if you hit the random here and uh, you know look at some other sequences I mean some of these same cars show up, but you know, different paint colors. Got the Bronco in blue, the Ford GT in red and uh, blue there. Um, and then as well with this game, they'll put some obstacles in the way. So, you know, as you're dragging cars around, you know, you're not gonna be able to, to back all the way in there. Um, so it's it's uh, kind of fun. The, it's very responsive um, on the screen here. Um, so that's fun. Um, and it's definitely a little bit of a challenge, uh, trying to do this while I'm actively recording. Uh, I've got to think about it a little bit. So I'm going to take six tries to get out here. Uh, we'll, we'll give this one another go. Let's see. Uh, this would probably be more efficient, perhaps maybe this way. Then we can go out. Uh, so, that's, so that's pretty fun. Um, you know, I'll bring up the how to play here if you want to see that. So, you know, some of the other ones will have some bushes and stuff in the way. Um, and then it gets more difficult over time. Uh, pretty fun little game. Uh, I like this one. It's simple and then it's fun to see all the different Ford vehicles in there. All right. So next up, we've got bridge battle um so how do you play this one bring that up so uh you're trying to build and connect your hexagons here uh kind of before the computer does so you're trying to get a red or a blue chain all the way across um so there's some blocking some strategy uh so this one's pretty fun and uh you can also play with a passenger here if you'd like um, so computer goes first, um, we'll start trying to connect here. Um, so blue's going this way, we're going this way. Uh, okay, we're going to get through here, blocked the computer. We're going to block the computer again. He blocked us. So let's keep going. I, th I think we're going to have some success here and we're on a little bit easier difficulty. So we made our, our trip across there. Uh, let's increase the difficulty a bit and it uh, definitely, gets, definitely gets tougher. We get to go first that time. Uh, we'll try and be a little bit more aggressive here. So the computer's definitely getting better at this higher difficulty. So we got a block him there he's gonna go there anyway so we definitely have to block him there but uh, yeah so 
definitely a little little bit more difficult. Um, let's see, we can also increase the board size as well. Have a much larger board. Um, or you can do a, a little board too. So I like that one. That one's a fun one. Uh, next up, we've got jigsaw puzzles. Um, so yeah, this one's kind of fun. It's, it's another one where you've got pictures of Ford vehicles. Um, and then you're going to try and, you know, move these around to, to match up and make a picture. So you've got 16 tries here to make it happen. Uh, let's see, we need that there. Can we go? Over? Okay, we can do that. Uh, I think we're... I think we're still a little off center here. Yeah, we got the truck too far over, so. These don't look quite right. There we go. So that one's kind of fun. Uh, let's see what other pictures I got. So nice uh, GT500 there. Ford Edge. Uh, looks like a F-150 towing a boat for Explorer. ST on the ground. Uh, looks like as you go in difficulty, then the pieces get smaller. So yeah, that one's kind of fun. There we go. There's the Ford family, Ford GT. I haven't seen the Mach-E yet. No Mach-E? There it is. There you go. So that one's fun. How to play, I'll put that up in case you wanted to read that. Oh, and they show the Mach-E as, as the demo. All right, so next up, we've got Sudoku. I haven't played Sudoku in a long time, so um, I'm sure who's ever watching this is gonna do much better. So I'm not even gonna play through this one. Um, it's nice. You can change the difficulty. It's got a little timer there for you. Um, I'll also put how to play because um, I need to relearn how to play this one. All right, what else we got here? Double sum. I think I've played this one once. Okay, so let's read how to play on this one. So slide the tiles around the board to create the largest number you can. Okay, so eight and four would be the largest. Okay. When you slide two tiles that have the same value, tiles merge, double the value. Okay. To win, create a tile with larger with a value of 2048. Okay, let's try it. So that's biggest number here. Still the biggest number. Let's see, we want to combine those, combine those, combine those, combine those. Oh, okay, I see. Can we go diagonal? No. Oh, I should have went that other way. There we go. There's a 32. Okay. There we go. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm not sure I totally get it, but I, I will have to experiment with that one some more. Okay. Lane change. This one is pretty fun. Um, what's really cool about this one, I'll show you in a second, is there's this little toggle option here. So I'm going to click that and I'll restart the game. But now I can use the knob on the screen here to move the car around, which I think that's a lot easier than, here, I'll turn this back off, than tapping on the screen, especially like sliding back and forth. Um, 
Here, I'll show you on the screen. I'm trying to go back and forth here. Uh, it's, it's actually, well, it's okay. You can kind of, it's easy to like move all the way over left or right, but I feel like you've got a lot finer control here and go one click much easier. So you're trying to collect coins. Here's all the different Ford vehicles again. So that's kind of fun to see. You've got three lives and then you're trying to get the highest score possible. Um, you really want to avoid any, any of those red kind of do not enter signs. Here, we'll go one more time. Green gives you some extra boost. I'll pull up the, the rules. I can't... The What what all the little symbols mean, the, the points are obvious, but uh, the money is one that's great. It gets all the cars out of the way, and then you just try and collect as much as you can. So I think that new parking lot game and this one... I really like seeing the other Ford vehicles. I think that's fun. I think those are probably my favorites. Um, let's see how to play. Um, the volume knob. Okay. I thought this talked about the what the little symbols meant. Maybe it's going to get there. Okay, well, you get the idea. Okay, blocks. Uh, this one's kind of like a Tetris-like game. Um, okay. So you kind of have one in reserve there, um, and you can like I guess they call it a parking area so and then you're gonna try and fit it down here someplace so it's like you're trying to kind of zero out what you're doing you can also undo one okay now gonna park that one we're gonna put that one here okay I see the little dot that's the corner it's gonna go uh, let's see we'll park that one this one doesn't fit anywhere can we rotate the piece I haven't figured out if you can rotate these uh, let's see you can undo Okay, so you can't rotate any pieces. So um, reading that again, it can go in all white or all blacks. And it's a little different than Tetris. Tetris, you're doing some, you know, you're trying to fit all these blocks in there. Where this one, I don't know, you're, I, I don't even know if Tetris is actually a great comparison. The pieces look like Tetris, but it's Tetris pieces into a puzzle kind of a thing. So... Anyway, you, you got to get the, the idea. So like this one, we should park it. And then we'll see if we can make some more room for it, maybe. Uh, okay, let's try this one now. Okay, we can probably squeeze that one in. So yeah, this one's kind of fun. Definitely a little bit different. Okay. Um, then last one is called Tiles. Uh, this one's also pretty fun. So there's kind of two different modes you can play. Um, so we'll start with the start a new game. And you're trying to connect all four colors, which will then like remove the block. So, you know, here we hit all four, they go away. Um, 
you know, you can't just do one color or something. You, the idea is to hit all four. Uh, let's see, we can hit all four there. So it's an interesting game. Uh, here, I'll show you the rush mode, which I'm probably going to be even worse at. Oh, okay, so it's just going to keep... Oh, and it's got five colors now. And like you saw there, it'll give you some suggestions of, of ones to connect if you're just totally stuck. Boy, yeah, I would... I like the relax mode better for my style. But you get the idea. It's kind of fun. Um, so that's all the games that currently are in the Mustang Mach-E. I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at these. Um, you know, the ones that they have, the Ford vehicles, are pretty fun. So I'd have to say lane change, being able to use the knob, that's probably a favorite. The parking lot, I, I think that's kind of a fun uh, thinking game, and it's fun to see all the different Ford vehicles. Um, so I think those two are my current favorites. Uh, the bridge battle one is pretty cool, too. That's fun to, to play with somebody else who might be sitting with you while you're charging or whatever. You know, one last thing on the games. Um, there was an article, um, I think it was the Europe Mustang Mach-E launch. They had a game that was a escape room and it turned the car into an escape room so you had to you know you're effectively locked in the car i think you could still you know just open the door if you wanted to get out um but you know you had to you know do some combination of clues and you know maybe you had to push get all four people to push the window switches or you know, punch in something in the radio or something like that. So I thought that was a really cool concept. I don't know exactly how it all worked. I would love to see Ford bring that game as an actual game in here. Tesla has a lot of games where you're actually using the steering wheel uh, to play a game on here, you know, some kind of driving game. So it'd be cool if Ford uh, can do something like that. Um, you know, I, I love to see them using the knob in the lane change game. So, uh, so yeah, I wouldn't surprise me at all. And, you know, in the next few months, if we see more games of kind of this caliber appear and, uh, maybe a little bit longer term, we get some, some even more interactive games using the, the wheel or, you know, an escape room type thing. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to mention that. Um, so yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you on the games. Um, thanks for watching and, uh, I'll catch you in the next video.